I mean, ambition is just sort of figuring out what you like, what makes you tick, the things that really make life live, worth living. Um, and, you know, you can either observe those sort of things or you can be part of it and then figuring out, figuring out what, how you want to be part of those things, whether it's music, theatre, um, politics, sport, um, anything really. The dream is uh, that we're building a, um, a, a reimagining of Shakespeare's original Globe Theatre uh, that he built in 1599, and where all of Shakespeare's original plays were formed, and the actual venue where he wrote the plays for, um, uh, and to do it a movable and low-cost version of that using uh, shipping containers. Detroit, A, it's got lots of available land, um, they're very hungry for, they're in the, they're in the process of, a, of an interesting sort of renaissance, um, you know, uh, economically, culturally, um, and it's sort of, sort of it's, they've got a sort of third wave of, you know, there was the car industry, Motown, and now there's this sort of startup culture and I don't know, it's sort of, the city's mature, not maturing, it's sort of changing and it's really, and in a different way than maybe the Brooklyn's or the, or the uh, Austin's or places like that, it's a different sort of thing. Um, and so it's quite, a, it's quite exciting to be there as this is happening. The most ambitious person that I know, uh, there's different kinds of ambition though, isn't there? I mean, I know people that are ambitious... Like for example, Arthur Meek. I don't know if you know Arthur Meek. He's a playwright and performer from New Zealand. And he's really ambitious because even though he's not, you know, he's reasonably well known, but he's just um, throwing himself in this world of doing solo performances and the world of, you know, theatre in New York and around the world. And there's Simon O'Neill. He's a Kiwi guy who's now become a a really important worldwide world worldwide known held in tenor in the world of Wagner singing sings at the Met, sings all around the world now. And he you know, I, I knew him when he was a start up singer and start up singer. When working at studying at Juilliard and he's now he's world famous in the world of Wagner and the, and and that he was ambitious too because throwing yourself into that world of classical and especially Wagner's crazy. Wagner and is a crazy, so judgmental. And to throw yourself into that world where you've got the crashing judgment of the fans, the critics, and artistic directors around the world, with the possibility that maybe your voice isn't going to develop the way that you think it might, and that's all worked out for him.